Welcome to X-Plane 11 and the Zebo Mod Boeing 737-800. Today I'm going to be going over a startup, IRS alignment, and a short takeoff. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on our battery, which is up here in the power section right here. Okay, great. Now we've got our battery on, and the next thing we'll do is we'll start the APU. All you need to do is hold down the APU switch for a total of about three to four seconds and let it go and we'll just wait until the APU starts to spool up here. Once the APU is finishing spooling up we will get an APU gen off bus light illumination and we can apply these two switches forward and take power and bleed air off. Okay, the APU. And there's our flight attendants breathing all of our passengers of our quick short takeoff. Sounds like they've got some interesting conversation going on back there. Good for them. Okay, great. Now we can take power off the APU. We'll go ahead and go over here and turn on our bleed air. We'll give the passengers a little bit of air. We should hear the air conditioners kick on there. Perfect. Okay, so the next step is we want an IRS alignment. Now, in the Zebo Boss 737, I have gone to custom, configure and customize realism, and I have changed my alignment to short for the purpose of this video. Some of you may notice on your FMC nav data out of date, that's fine. Press the clear button in the lower right hand corner and press initial reference in the upper left hand corner. We will go back to our switch panel for the IRS alignments. Get us over here. And as Boeing suggests, we will turn these over to nav. I also like to go up here to this large switch and go all the way to the right. Now normally on our long or realist, realism time that we have set, this will normally pop up at 6, giving us an indication of 6 minutes. Okay, now we will go back to our FMC. And some of you might be wondering what to do now. Set IRS position. Okay, so what you want to do is we want to go next page. We will grab this position from GPSL. And we'll just press the left right next to it, it'll copy it right down into the scratch pad, we'll go back to the previous page, and we'll click right here next to set IRS position, and we'll give that a moment to take, and once it takes, you'll notice our horizontal situation indicator, and our map slash radar comes up. Great, so the next thing we want to do turn on all of our electrics, we'll turn on our probe seats. The electrics are also in flight controls. We will turn on our fuel pumps. And we hear those come on. And we'll go ahead and start the right engine. Now before we do that, what we need to do is turn off our left and right packs, which increase our duct pressure. So the engines will actually start with the bleed air coming off of the APU. So we'll start our right engine first to ground and we will look down here on our engine monitor and we are going to look 